supplies around the house. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the little trikes four in one trike, like this. So, the first thing to do is separate all your parts, lay them out on the floor, and this will make the next bit a lot easier. Before we start to assemble the trike, just note that it does come provided with a spanner. This is only good for two of the nuts in the kit. You're also going to need a Phillips screwdriver, which doesn't come supplied with the kit. I've got two different sizes, which will come in handy later. So now we're going to take this length of bar and we're going to attach the wheels to the end. Now if you look, we've got these two plastic pieces. Now take the longest one and this is going to go on the right and the shortest one will be for the left. Place these on the floor, right and left. Then you've got these two plastic cups. Now these are marked up R and L. So put the R for right on the right and the L on the left. If you look at the wheels, they've got a tread on the tyre. Now with the tread pointing forward, you want this pattern on the inside of the right wheel and that on the outside. So we'll place this on the right. And then again, if you look at the other wheel, with the tread facing forward, you'll see that the stud pattern of the outside of the wheel is there and this plain bit is on the inside of the wheel. So place this one on the left. If you take a look at this bar, you've got these little slots on the end, there and there. Now on one side, almost in line with the slot, is this little hole. It isn't on the other side. So where you've got the hole that's almost in line with that, place this on the left. Like that. Now imagine we're sat behind the trike. We're now going to assemble this together using the correct screws. And in order to assemble this section together, you're going to need what is labelled on the instructions as the M2 screw. That's this screw, and there should be four supplied with the pack. As we saw on the floor, this is the right side, this is the left side. So still treat this like we're stood behind the trike. Take this bit labelled R and place it over the top of the frame, like that. With the tread pointing forward like that, and with that pattern on the inside of the wheel, place this wheel over the frame like that. Taking the longer of the two plastic parts, push this inside the tube and line it up so this little plastic notch there goes into this little metal slot there like that. And then when we pull the wheel back, you'll see by there that the hole in the metal and the hole in the plastic line up. Then take this part and place that over the top, lining up the hole again. And now we can place the screw through all three parts. So just start that off by hand and then using your Phillips screwdriver, tighten up. Once you tighten that screw right up, Rotate the tube around and you need to do the same again to the other side. So take your screw, just start it off by hand and then with your screwdriver do the same again. And when they're both tightened do exactly the same to the other side. So plastic over the top, wheel over the top, with tread pointing forward. And then take the shorter of the two plastic pieces and place inside the tube. On this one, you'll see there's a slight plastic notch by there, and that needs to go into this metal slot. Like that. Now pull the wheel back, and line this plastic cup up with the hole in the metal tube and in the white plastic part. And then using the same screws, put one through this hole, and one through the hole on the other side like we did to the other wheel. So you now got your rear wheels assembled to the rear axle. Now you want to take the main frame of the trike, and place this end bit over this bit of the axle. And that should just slide over the top like that. Then you need to take these two nuts and bolts which are labelled as M5 on the instructions. Removing the nut, you need to place these through the rear axle with this smooth bit facing out to the back, like this. Then where we've pushed these bolts through the tube, we need to tighten this nut over the other end. And do this over both bolts. Then use the spanner provided to tighten them up, turning clockwise. So you now have the main frame attached to the rear axle. Take the handlebars, again facing away from you, and place those into this front section, down here. So looking down into the section where the handlebars go, you'll see there's this little piece of metal in there. Now you need to ensure that when you push the handlebar into this, 
that these metal slots line up with the metal in this section I just showed you. That will hold the handlebar secure and enable it to turn the wheels when you turn the handlebars. So lining it up with the metal slots, push into place like that, and take your screw labelled M3 on the instructions, push through the hole in the back and tighten up with a screwdriver. Do that up until it's tight. Now for this next bit we're going to attach the chair to the main frame. And we attach this using a screw through this hole and into the frame. But if you look on the frame there are three different holes you could go into. Now these options are according to what age and size your child is. Now if they're young you put them into this one so that they're sat closer to the handlebars. Then as they get older you can take it off and adjust it moving it backwards. So in this example I'm going to place the seat as close to the handlebars as possible which is this hole here. Now when we do this we also need to take this safety strap and attach this under the seat while we secure the seat down. So taking this part here you'll find there'll be a small hole in the base of this strap. You may need to make it a bit bigger by pushing the screw through it. Then take the longest screw in the pack labelled M6 on the instructions. Push that through the top of the seat like that. Then turning the seat over Take your strap with the hole that we just made, place that over the screw like that and have the strap facing to the front of the seat. Now turn the seat over, so again the trike's still facing away from us and place it through the hole of your choice. So placing the long screw through the hole and before you tighten this down make sure that this strap is facing forwards underneath the seat. And then you want that screw to push out of the underside of the frame, like that. So now if we take the footrests, you'll see in the top there's a small hole there for a screw. And these go on the underside of the frame where we just put the other long screw through, by here. So offer that up to the underside of the frame and then screw the screw inwards using a screwdriver. So with the feet facing towards the front of the trike, push that over the screw. Then turn in this round with the trike facing away from us again and start to tighten the screw through the seat and into the footrests. Tighten that right up until these footrests are firmly secured to the base of the seat. Now I've turned the trike around to face the camera. Get the front wheel which is already assembled. We need to push this up inside this tube. So with the trike turned upside down this is the tube that the front wheel needs to be inserted into and there's a small metal bar going across there. It's important to make sure that these two notches here line up with that metal bar. Use this spring clip to secure it into place. So again you want the rubber tread with the point facing forwards. Get this, place it in line with the metal bar inside and push into place like that. And now the trike has three wheels. According to the age and size of the toddler that's going to use the trike will depend on what parts you attach to it now. Again I'm going for the youngest setting and in this scenario we need to take this bit then we take the backrest of the seat, place that through those holes, push these two clips in and that allows the plastic to slot over the top. Then simply take this, place it over the holes and then on the front of the trike the plastic piece just clips into place like that. And on the back you need to push those little clips in again and then they will slot into the holes there securing the backrest into place. Next take the basket this attaches to the back of the frame and if you look at this clip here that goes over this little bar here and then on the underside you've got these grooves and these two screw holes. These grooves slot over that tube there. Rest that over the top, clip into place. Now if I turn this upside down we just take these two plastic brackets we place them by there and by there and when you place these over the tube you'll see there's a slot on one side make sure that lines up with a plastic groove on the underside of the basket, by there. We'll use four screws labelled as M1 on the instructions and we'll screw through these brackets securing the basket to the tube. Once the basket's secured let's flip the trike back over. The next thing to do is take your long bar which attaches to the handle. You'll see on the bottom end by there you've got this long groove. This end needs to go into that tube by there. But again, this groove has to slot over a metal bar inside the tube. Then with the trike turned on its side, you'll see you've got this pin clip by here. And we need to undo that. We do that by just pushing the other side up 
like that, unclip it, release the pin like that. Then if you look down inside that tube, you can see the metal bar I was talking about. Push this inside with that metal bar inside this metal slot. The other thing to note before pushing this in is that on the back you've got this groove and on the front it's smooth. So always ensure the groove is on the back when you slot this into place. Then take your pin, push it back through that hole and secure it back in place. You'll see on the other side of the pin there's a small groove and all you do is take that, place it over the top and pull down like that and secure it in place. Then take your drink holder with the lever on the top and the holder facing forward. You've got these small grooves here and they slot into the grooves on the back of the bar that we just attached. So just slide that over the top into place. And then you can use this lever to lock it to the height that you want. Then you need to take your handle, there's a groove on the back, place this over the top of your bar lining these two holes up with these two holes but take this piece first place these two prongs through the holes like that then place this over the top like that then take two of these screws labeled M4 on the instructions and place through the hole and tighten into place with a the screwdriver then place your little tykes badge into here like that Take your final screw, labelled M1 on the instructions, and screw through the back. And finally, if you want some sunshade, just slot this piece into the back of the chair. Push in this button in, and slot in into place. So in its current setting, when you turn this handle, it turns to steering. You've got this piece of plastic there, which allows the wheel to run freely of the pedals. If you push this piece of plastic into place like that, it will now engage the wheel with the pedals. If you look on the front, you've got an unlocked and a lock symbol. Again, in this mode, you want it unlocked because you want this to turn independently of the handlebars. However, if you move up to stage two and your toddler wants to move the handlebars with the wheels, what you need to do is line the wheel up with the handlebars, rotate this clockwise to lock it, and now the handlebars, when turned, will turn the wheel. Obviously in this current situation, we've got this plastic safety rail on here, which holds the handlebars in place anyway. But again, if moving up to stage two, you would unclip the backrest, take this off, put the backrest back into place, then you can move the handlebars and turn the front wheel. If your toddler wants to hold on to the handlebars, turn them, but you still want control of the wheel with the handle at the back, then turn this switch back so that this is unlocked making the handlebars separate from the function of the front wheel. If your child is old enough to use the pedals and no longer want to use the footrest, by pinching the buttons either side here, you can just fold the footrest up and click it out of the way, like that. If you no longer want use of the handle, just undo the pin clip as we saw earlier, remove the handle, and the whole thing can just be used as a normal trike. By pushing the little prong there, you can adjust the length of the handlebar, and by moving this up and down, you can adjust the height of the water bottle holder. Obviously, when your child is using the trike, always do up the safety straps. For more DIY, how-to, household tips and product review, please watch my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I've been Pouse Around the House. Ta-ta! Farewell!